10 Ideas That Started As Dreams Number 10 Dreamithi Mendeleev took on the challenge of trying to figure out a logical scientifically accepted way of presenting all the discovered elements. Although he believed that there was a solid answer to this problem, he couldn't quite make it all fit together. That night, he had a dream where his thoughts all came together. Quoting from his diary, Dreamithi wrote, I saw in a dream a table where all the elements fell into place as required. Awakening, I immediately wrote it down on a piece of paper. Number 9 the idea for one of the sci-fi movies came to James Cameron in a dream. The dream consisted of Cameron as a character in a strange futuristic world. He saw a chrome robot torso using kitchen knives to drag itself away from an explosion. The idea of a robotic assassin was hard to stop so he wrote down the dream. It would form into an idea about two robots fighting in a dystopia, but Cameron eventually leaned towards having only one robot. The idea for the Terminator was born. Number 8 Larry Page dreamt of downloading and storing the internet on individual PCs. When he woke up, he did some math to see if it was possible. Given bandwidth and storage issues, you couldn't save entire web pages to a computer. However, it was possible that the web pages could be stored as individual links. This gave Page the idea of collating links to web pages around the world and searching through them. Eventually, this developed into the Google we know today. Number 7 Albert Einstein dreamed that he was watching cows eat through an electrified fence, but the cows were seemingly unfazed by it. Einstein touched the fence and discovered why they weren't bothered. The fence had run out of charge. A farmer approached the fence and replaced the battery, at which point all the cows jumped away at the same time. The farmer claimed that he had seen each cow jumping one after the other. When Einstein awoke, he formed the basis of the theory of relativity. Number 6 the origin of the Necronomicon is a little bit mystical in its own right. H.P. Lovecraft did go on to explain that Necronomicon meant an image of the law of the dead in Greek. However, he claimed that the original idea behind the name came to him in a dream. On hearing this, people stepped forward with various theories including reading The King in Yellow which features a disturbing book in its story. However, Lovecraft never said anything clearly about it. Number 5 Harge, the creator of Tintin, was having a recurring nightmare. A psychoanalyst told Harge that the dreams were caused by his previous works on Tintin and that Harge should stop immediately. Instead, Harge produced Tintin in Tibet, a story that mostly takes place in the snowy Alps, representing the white spaces from Harge's dreams. Tintin in Tibet cured Harge of his nightmares and became one of his masterpieces. Number 4 one night, Robert had a bad nightmare that he began yelling in the night. As it turns out, the nightmare was Robert's ticket out of his problems. After his dream, he was noticeably more optimistic about solving his issues and excited to get his bogey tale out there for people to read. Once finished, it would form the story we now know as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and it became the popular book that the publisher wanted. Number 3 it's no big shocker that Inception, Christopher Nolan's famous film about dreams, was inspired by dreams. However, Inception didn't stem from a single dream. Instead, Nolan's main influence for the film stemmed from several individual cases where he experienced lucid dreaming, the sensation of controlling a dream and trying to change it in an advantageous way. Nolan's own experience with distinguishing between worlds allowed him to write his experience into the movie as a central theme. Number 2 Mary Shelley, who was called Mary Godwin at the time, was at a gathering hosted by Lord Byron. A volcanic eruption in the Dutch East Indies blocked out the sun, which put an end to a warm summer. Thus, the group had to find another way to pass the dull cold time. They started entertaining one another by telling German ghost stories around a campfire. That night, Mary had a dream about a mad scientist who tried to play God by inventing a new race of man, and the idea of Frankenstein evolved. Number 1 the tune for Yesterday, one of the more famous Beatles songs, came to Paul McCartney via a dream. He didn't know it at first. He woke up with the tune stuck in his head and believed that he had heard the song before. When it became apparent that it wasn't another person's song, the Beatles fleshed it out. The original title was Scrambled Eggs, but this eventually developed into Yesterday.
The idea of subscribing to this channel may or may not come in a dream. So better subscribe, comment, like and share the videos with your friends.